the vision is beyond our current uh, challenge. Yeah. And, and the challenges haven't stopped. They've just evolved. Sometimes they've even gotten bigger. Uh, but also it means that we also have capacity to, to handle more. Uh, as we stretch and as we grow, and that's what growth also does for you. Uh, but we've, we, we've kept our eyes on our vision, you know, as opposed to being distracted by the challenges. Otherwise, you get consumed by the challenges yeah. and miss out on your focus and yeah. your goal. And you've got a good team. Mm. I mean, I was privileged to have a session with them mm. on leadership, mm. and they really focused, and they're always looking to see where they can improve and what their shortcomings. Yes, yes. I mean, the last time I was there, mm you know, I thought, how rude. <laughs> yes. As I'm talking to them, next thing they diverted. Yes. And I'm like, well, well, what's happening? Should I leave the room? They're like, no, you, you hit it on the head. So we have to have this conversation before yes. you go. Yes, you know, yes. it's like, yes. we understand where we're going wrong. Yes, yes. Gee, I hardly meet I, I think, leaders like that. Yeah, I think it's one of the greatest gifts yes. at House of Tara is our people and the great team who are completely committed to the vision. And this also I said at the conference yesterday, and I wish, I had learned how to be a good manager, but also a good leader earlier. And I think the company would have gone much further. Um, but in terms of being able to lead, lead a team, being able to share the vision, communicate it in a way that people are excited about oh. it, they see their, their part, the part that they can play in it, they see how it benefits them personally, um, and they see a, a, a leader who's committed to their well-being and cares about what they care about. Um, I think that has definitely helped to get their hearts and their minds uh, to, the, to the vision of, of the organization. Yeah. And it's really there. Mm.